All right. First up, welcome and introductions. You got your supplies out. I'm um, gonna take a look at our Padlet and see if there's any new artwork. What else? Number two is um, Alicia's gonna come back and just show folks how to tie their lava lava one more time, just in case you haven't figured that out yet. And song of the week, it says Etangi La Fatu, but that's a typo. This week's song is called Fesa um, Ava, which is on the page for week six. And our legend of the week is the story of the Ava ceremony. And then our content for today is going to be painting with Donnie Bands and Lear. They're gonna come on and show you guys how to paint. And then to wrap it all up, we'll have um, Aliyah come back with our quote of the week and Alicia read off our words of the week. And any last minute announcements or reminders that we have for you all, we'll um, bring that up at the end, which there is an announcement for today of you folks who are coming to rehearsals in person. We're gonna be rehearsing inside today because the weather is just not great. A little too cold out there and there's chance of rain. Um, we have emailed your parents to let them know where our rehearsal is gonna be in Daly City, just up the street from the park where we normally rehearse at. Bring your mask and your ear lava lava as well as your water bottle. All right, let's check out the Padlet and see who added some art this week. Bum, bum, bum. All right, these are some stuff that I recognize from before. I missed last week, so I wasn't sure if we got to check out Lena Alla and Cyrus's art. Ali had some art up here too. And I think all this lovely art from Malia is new. So here's an image from Lena Alla. A similar picture from Cyrus. Thank you both. Nice, nice. Allie G has got her image. Oh, I like it. Nice, very colorful. Those fish stand out so bright. Ooh, and a similar image from Malia. Here's another one from Malia. And another one. Oh, I see a turtle up in there and looks like an octopus and some other fish. Nice. And the last one from Malia, our turtle and shark. Wonderful. All right, keep it coming. We're going to be using this Padlet um, for our, the art that you're painting today. So you can show us like what your art looks like in the beginning, in the middle, and your finished product if you want, or you can just have the finished product totally up to you. Thanks everybody for sharing your artwork this week. I like to see all these lovely faces on camera too. Thank you all for sharing turning on your cameras. And let's see. All right, it's time for Ms. Alicia to step up and show us again one more time how to tie our level level. Thank you, Alicia. Come on over, dear. Hey guys, so it's Alicia again, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to tie your ear. So you guys have your ear that you guys got. It's like a, a cute little colorful ear, colorful ear, and like the little um bag kit thingy. So yeah, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take that out if you haven't already. So you wanna grab the two ends. So 
the other ear and then you just want to bring it to one side either the left or the right and then you just want to tie it a little simple knot like that and then that's it for the first method okay guys moving on to the second method so it's um it's pretty basic so you just take whichever side the left or the right and you're holding two corners again and just bring one side in and then whatever corner that you're left in with bring it in and then ugh, tuck it in right there and there you go guys that's it me showing you guys how to tie your ear i hope that you guys now know how to tie your ear if you guys have any other questions you guys can go ahead and drop it in the chat Let's thank Alicia for showing us how to tie our lava lava. Next up, we're going to have Sepua. She's going to show you the chords for our song this week, and then we'll share the screen with the words for the song, and it'll have on there where you change chords. So um, pay attention while we have Sepua step up. Come on over, Sepua. Hello, everyone. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Pua. Um, and I'll be showing you the song of the week, which is, hold on a moment. That's so loud. Oh, it's in your, it's in your binder. Um, it's week six, I believe. And it's called Pesel de Ava. So the chords are C, G7, C7, and F. One more time. Chords are C. G7, C7, and F. All right, now we're gonna sing it. Okay. Right. Um, so don't forget, um, it's on your binder, the song of the week. It's week six. And um, if you do not have your binder with you, there should be a um, virtual binder that will be put in the chat if you do not have it. All right, let's get going. All right, three. Hang on, hang on. Oh, sorry, one moment. One second, we're there gonna we share go. the words with you all. All right, um, yes, those are the words on the screen. You can follow along with me if you want, or you can just um, listen, but all right, here we go. Three, two, one. i 
Action. How about a round of applause for Ms. Sepua? Thank you, Sepua. Okay, so what do we got next? We have. Ooh, it's time for our story. Okay, this week's story is coming to you from the island of Manua. And the story is called The Origin or the Legend of the Ava Ceremony. If you open your binder to week six, you can find the words to follow along with the story. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story. And share some images with y'all. Okay. So, Ava was first given by the sun god of Tangaloa'ui, who was the first high chief of Samoans. The legend begins with the sacrifice of the son of a young, to the son of a young maiden at Fitiuta which is the place where the sun rises in Manua. Her fate was to be that of other maidens who were each year devoured by the sun, meaning that the sun would just take her up and eat her, right? Like she'd just be destroyed. However, one year, a girl by the name of Ui was offered and so great was her beauty that the sun god took her to be his bride, yay! When she became pregnant by the solar deity and wished to return for a visit with her people to give birth, consent was granted and she was sent flying through the sky at tremendous speed. As a result, her baby was flung into the ocean. <gasps> oh no. All was not lost, however, as the legend goes, for a hermit crab and two of his friends found and tended to the infants. Ooh. The boy grew under the guidance of the crab and friends until Tangaloi was given the child. It was he who taught mortals how to make the ava as well as the reverential ceremony that surrounds its use. The boy's name was Pava. Pava was the first mortal to participate in the ava ceremony. He had a son who laughed at the antics of his father as he attempted to prepare this brew for Tangaloa'ui. Uh-oh. You know what happens when you laugh at your parents, right? Big trouble. So in a godlike rap, Tangaloa'ui cut the sun into two pieces <gasps> to the dismay of Pava, then proceeded to instruct Pava in the correct manner of preparing the ava. After a wooden bowl was filled with the ava, Pava offered it to the god, oh, to Tangaloa'ui, but Tangaloa'ui did not drink it. Instead, he poured it out on behalf of Pava's dead son and uttered soifua, or life, which means life. At this pronouncement, the boy was made whole again, and Pava clapped his hands in joy. Woo, yay. Thank goodness Papa was um, spared. All right, so that's our story for today. I want you to think about our legend, use some of your art supplies, draw some images. What do you think? Have you ever seen the Ava ceremony pre prepared before? It's usually um, something that we do in Samoa to welcome guests who come and visit us, right? Um, the images that you saw earlier showed the Telpo, who's preparing the ava in the in the tano, which is this wooden bowl down here. She's holding the the fau, which strains the the ava roots, and uh, squeezing the liquid out into the tano so that they can drink it, right? And then you have our server here, who's using the ipu, which is the coconut cup, scooping up the ava. Then he's going to serve to whoever the guests are, right? And then instead of drinking the ava nowadays, sometimes people, they will um, pour out a little bit of the ava and say a blessing, just like they did for Papa when, um, when he was uh, being brought back to life. All right, so that's our legend for today. 
Next up, we're gonna get ready to do some painting. So go ahead and bring out your stand for your canvas and your canvas and your paints. Um, something I wanna tell you ahead of time is that this video, the, in this video, the process is sped up, right? So when you go to paint your, your image, make sure that you just take your time. Don't worry about it. You don't have to rush. Um, our guest painters, they just wanted to show you the process and make it fast so that the time that it's long enough for the time that we're sharing together today, right? I see some folks who are ready to go. Okay, cool. I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and start this video. If you have any questions, just share it in the chat, okay? And... Hey, welcome to Painting with Lear and Donnie Vans. Today we will be painting our headshot of our topo. Our Manaya. <laughs> and today we will be needing our little handy daddy aprons from last week from our good old friends, Pathfest. And we will also be using our handy dandy acrylic paint set. Yes, and inside of our paint set, we'll be needing our brushes, our to paint palette, our acrylic paints, of course, and our little cup for water, water not included, also and our sponge. And out of our colors, our main colors that we'll be using is our white, our 104 white, our 793 black, our lighter brown 7629 and our darker brown 497. And the main brushes we'll be using are two, seven, four, 12, and eight. Let's get started. For our first step, we're gonna be working on our background. And for this, we're gonna be using our sponge and a light and dark color. Today, I'm gonna to be working with the dark purple and light purple. I'm gonna be working with the light and dark blue. So, our, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sponge and dip it into our dark color first. And we're going to dab it on top. And we're trying to get an ombre effect, so try to work it to the middle. Then you want to take, after you're done with your dark colors, then you're going to go in with your light and work like the middle and bring it down. So Leah and I are going to be using light purple and dark purple and light blue and dark blue, but you could choose any colors you want from the palette and make sure when you're dabbing, we're going to be covering the entire canvas. Oh, and for the ombre effect, if you can't get it, it's all cool. I mean, like, you know, happy mistakes are welcome in this space. You already know. We ain't perfectionists. Now, now let's, let's get, get to dabbing. dabbing. Now that we're done with our background, remember after each step, we want to make sure that our paint is dry and our canvas is dry so our colors don't mix, mix, mix. A drying technique that works for us is just shaking it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake out canvas. <laughs> shake out canvas. <laughs> yeah. Step number two, we're going to go in making the Lao Ulu. Uh, what we're going to need for this is the number 12 brush the dark brown, which is number 497, and the light brown, which is number 7,629. So we're going to go, for the La Ulu, the first thing we're gonna do is go in with our dark brown, 497, and we're going to make a rainbow-like shape. Ooh, Chile. It's like an oval, you know? To make the hair, because La Ulu means hair. And for this, um, the little tip we gave you is that a little paint goes a long way. So you'll have like a lot at the top. So just bring it down, bring it down, down.
Now that our canvas is dry, we wanted to add a little contrast into our laulu. And in order to create that effect, we want to take our same brush from last time and dip it into our lighter brown that we talked about and just add some strokes in between our laulu. Two thousand years later. Blend until you love. <laughs> Woo. Make sure to blend. Blending is your best friend here. Wow, Tully Benz, there's some nice hairs you got there. Thank you, thank you, you too. Next, we will be painting our Safe Le Moi, and what we'll be using is our number four brush, and I will be going in with my crimson red. I'll be going in with the roses of red, tulips of pink, your feet really. For our feathers in our Safe Le Moi, we're going to use this little technique. So you're gonna take your little, whatever color you choose, Start at the top center of our La Ulu and just do some upside down V's across the border. Just going and then we'll stop around about here, we'll get a little paint around like this area. And then we'll be doing the same on the other side. Progress check. Show us you guys' this painting. Let me see. Don't Turn around. Away. Wow, liar. Mm. You know what they looking like? Oh, yeah, they look super. <laughs> Pretty dope, shows. Yeah. Okay, nice. now we are going to, after seeing your beautiful works, we're going to go in with our brush number eight to create our color for you know. So what we're going to do is go in with the color black. Take some black and we're going to, to make the folly, you want to make a um, rectangle shape like in the center of your la ulu, and then just bring it down. Yep, just make your rectangle like in the center. This is like the forehead piece-ish, yeah. And then you're just gonna fill it in. Good looks, good looks. Nice rectangle layer. Thank you. Oh, I like your four sides. Oh, three sides. Oh, yeah, she's gonna get a third one. Mm. I guess we'll never And know. after we're done filling in, we're gonna work on our lava. And in order to do that, we took our brush and we were just gonna do three straight lines up. But make sure you centered it in between your rectangle that you made so it's not like cricket, you know? But you know what? Crookedness is not always bad, you know? Because we do not discriminate. Happy, like, happy mistakes. Happy mistakes. Bob Ross. Hold on, wait. I'm going to just do... I'm just going to go up with three lines. Just real quick. We could go in and fix them after. And after your three lines are made, we want to make two horizontal lines on the bottom. Okay. Let me just show you guys how I do mine. I'm going to fix my lines, but... After I fix my lines, I'm going to go in with the black again, and we're going to just do two horizontal lines on the bottom row right here, close to our rectangle. One and
Now, before we go into our Pale Fuyono and our Lave for our finishing touches, we're going to create our face and our Ulonifo. And the supplies that we're going to be using for this step is our, our brush number eight again and our brush number two, and also our white color and our light brown again from last time. Alrighty, so with our brush number eight, we are going to go in head and dip into our light brown and make our little face shape. We're going to just do a little outline. Face shapes do not matter. We accept and love all types of face shapes. You can make your own face shape. You can make my face shape or you can make your desired face shape. For example, I'm making my desired face shape. So she's going to have a jawline and no extra chins. <laughs> we'll attempt to make a jawline because I don't know how to do this. And after that, we're just going to fill it in with our light brown. After filling it in, we will use our, how is that, the blue, yeah, our brush that. number two. Yeah, brush number two and go with the white. And just along your like jawline and chin line and all that, you're just going to make little dashes, white dashes, resembling the Ula Nifo. Uh -huh. Ula Nifo, oh, oh, she needs to be more pigmented. <laughs> yep, and that is that. Wow, everybody, you guys are doing great. Proud of you. Um, we are almost done, a few more steps left. And for these last few steps, we're just gonna be using the one brush, the number two brush. And uh, first we're gonna just go off with the, oh, we're gonna make the Alcaz, Alcaz, uh, which is on the face. Uh, you could use red or black, well, traditionally. Um, Donnie's gonna go in with the red. And I'm going to go in with the black. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we make like a little backward C on the cheek, on the cheeks, either like a backward C like this, mm -hmm. as Donnie is doing. So right there, a backward C and then a regular C on this side. Yeah. It's kind of hard. Or um, another way you could do it is just um, like ticks, like just lines on the cheekbone area, mm -hmm. just like boof, like that, just following the cheekbone. The just imagine a cheekbone there, and that is where that goes. Yes, and then after that, we're gonna get, we're gonna add all of our meaiilas on our lave and our palefuyono. And what I'm gonna be using is again my number two brush and white and crimson red. But you could use whatever colors you want because it's just decorations on like on your guina. Uh, these are some examples of the ones that we did earlier. We just add like either circles, oh, ovals, um, squares, and diamonds. Just do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Whatever your heart like desires. Yes. Then uh, uh, lastly, we will go in and make the little feather tufts on the lava, finishing topping, the little mm -hmm. cherry on the top. Remember the little, um, oh, this time we're going to do regular V's because yeah. our feathers are going to be pointing up on top. Well, that's it, kids. Um, this is our Telpo Donny Box. <laughs> and our Manaya Tony Tony Choppa. <laughs> Please make sure to clean up all your mess. Yes, and um, we want to see your awesome artwork. Don't forget to upload it to the Padlet where you guys been putting your awesome coloring pages. And yes, we want to see your beautiful paintings. We will be looking paintings. at everyone's. For sure. <laughs> 
Well, thank you for tuning in with Painting with Liar Lear and, and Donny Bands. Done out. Out. Yes, says our friends at home. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do. Yes, there's a question in the chat, which is, can I rewatch it again? Yes, you may. We're going to post this to our YouTube channel. So if you just go on YouTube and you search Samoan Solutions, you'll be able to find it. Today's episode, as well as all of our previous workshops. So if you missed any of our workshops from other weeks, you can totally um, watch them on YouTube. Okay, so let's see. What's up next? I think we're gonna ask Miss Alicia to come up and read our words of the week. So you can pull out your calendar and we're on a new month, right, Alicia? So you wanna turn to the month of May. Okay, here we go. Let me stop sharing so that, oh, actually I have the words so I can just pull it up. Bam, here we go. All right, Alicia, use the microphone so that way you can take a mute. Hey guys, we're back again. Oh, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. Oh, I see the mic moving, so you guys can. But today is a new month, as you guys, oops, sorry, it's kind of bending, but like you guys could see on the thing. And today is May, or yeah, it's May. Happy May, you guys. And I'm going to be reading you guys the words of the week. So today is May 1st, Saturday. And today's word is timey, which is time. Tomorrow's word, which is Sunday, is secone, which is second. Monday's word is minute, which is minute. Tuesday's word is itu, itula, which is hour. Wednesday's word is mua mua, which is first. Thursday's word is muli muli, which is last or follow. Friday's word is also, which is day. And that's it for the words of the week, guys. I um, hope you guys have a good week. And yeah, and just a reminder, your calendar is located in the binder that was passed out in the white bags. Hi, guys. Next up, we're gonna have Aliyah come up and she's going to share with us the quote of the week. So go ahead and pull out your Polynesian coloring books. Hey y'all, it's hey y'all, it's Leah, aka Lear. You already know I was just in the video. Oh, yes, without y'all Polynesian coloring books. Um, and then today's quote of the week is a tua le fale te le ile fale o which means even the mighty need others. That's a Samoan proverb. And here on the right is the awesome picture y'all can color in using the supplies. You can even paint it, color it, anything to decorate to your heart's desire. I'm gonna read the quote one more time. E tua le fale, te le i le fale o o. And yeah, that's it for my part. We are out. See you next week. All right, gang. Round of applause for Aliyah and for Alicia for sharing our words of the week and quote of the week. Uh, I think we have some time to take some questions from folks. If you have any questions, some people are giving us um, status report, which is that they've only done the brown part, which the first brown part that you paint on the canvas is actually the hair, <laughs> right? And then later on, after you put the rectangle on, then you'll draw the other brown part, which would be the face, right? So I'm so glad that there's some folks working on their, on their paintings. Um, our big announcement for today is that um, rehearsals are going to be indoors because of the weather, it's not looking good outside. Um, 
if you are going to be here in person rehearsing, your parents should have received the address via email write-ups. Can you post that address in the chat one more time? We'll be here from three o'clock to five o'clock p.m. in Daly City. Bring your lava lava and your mask as well as your script. If you want, you can bring a water bottle too. We'll have a snack ready for you and we'll have extra water on site. No, you are not staying home. You are coming here to the building where we film our workshops. We're gonna be practicing inside the studio. We're in the studio today. So, yep, you're not staying home. But thanks for the question. That was good. Just wanna clarify that for folks. Ooh, let's see. Do we have another announcement? Epi is next week. Ah, here is the address. 355 Gillard Boulevard in Daly City, room number two. That's where we are today. Ah, one, uh, another announcement we have for this week is that May 21st, I think. Can you check that up? Check the date one more time. Is NHPI acknowledgement ceremony, which is a celebration for all of our PI graduates and students in SFUSD. It's gonna be virtual. And I think it's from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Let me see. Oh, wow. I just got a text message with a status update from one of our friends who is painting. I, can't, I don't know if we can see because of the glare. But here's one of our friends at home. He's got the painting started already. Oh, another one. Awesome job. Um, did you get the, to check out that date and time one more time for the NHPI acknowledgement ceremony for SFUSD? Pretty sure it's May 21st. I just want to make sure I'm giving, giving you guys the May 21st, 4 to 5 30 p.m. It sure is. Okay, cool. So, like I was saying, NHPI acknowledgement ceremony for our students who are in grades five, eight, and senior that are moving on to their next school, next stage of life. We're gonna be celebrating them from four to 5.30 p.m. It's a virtual ceremony, so you can watch it online. Um, hopefully we'll have the links ready for you guys soon so that we can share and you can join in and help us celebrate our students within the district. Um, another announcement that we have is that there's a blood drive happening. Epi, when is the blood drive? Um, the blood drive for today has been canceled. Oh, today's blood drive has been canceled, unfortunately. Um, all my Uso um, that was for AMU, which is otherwise known as All My Usos. But or do we have another one coming up? Slots for July 3rd. Ooh. However, July 3rd, there'll be another one. Cool. So look for that info um, on our Facebook page. We'll email it to you as well. I know some of you are not old enough to give blood, but maybe your parents and friends and relatives might want to help out with that cause. Um, do we have a supplies pickup for this week, Epi? All right. So lastly, next week, our activity is weaving, but the stuff that you're going to be weaving is live fresh leaves. So that means that you have to come to my school and pick up the leaves so that, because if I was to give it to you today, by the time it gets to next Saturday, they're going to be dead, right? So um, I'll email your parents the times and if you guys can do your best to try and pick up those leaves on, I think it's going to be Friday. If we're able to get the leaves on Thursday, I'll let your parents know. Um, so that way your leaves will be nice and fresh for when you 
do them, uh, use them for weaving next week. We're gonna bring in our guest uh, facilitator. Her name is Sala. She's gonna show you how to weave some lays and some um, haku, palas. Nice, yeah. And we have some celebrations in the chat. All right, we're glad that you're excited about that, Lola. Okay, so one more time, today's practice in person at where now? Where is it? 355 Gellert Boulevard, Daly City, room 235 on the second floor, okay? Bring your lava lava and your water bottle and your face mask, you need a face mask. Oh, and someone was saying that when they um, opened their paint kit, kit, the little cup that was in there was broken. Don't worry, you can find another, use any other kind of container that you can hold water in, right? That you can find inside your home. Sorry about that. Yeah, you could use a jar, you could use a paper cup, a plastic cup, anything that works for you. All right, glad we worked that out. All right, we're just out of- can we welcome the Ratliff family? Ooh, right before we leave, we want to welcome our friends, newest students of Ratliff family. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back on the same link next week. Um, don't forget to check out YouTube for all of the workshops that you missed in the past. And you can also find our videos on Facebook um, Someone Solutions page. Oh, and all of the songs are on our TikTok page, which is Someone Solutions official. So you can do what? Sepua. <laughs> Sepua. <laughs> if you find her music on TikTok. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. We'll see you next time. This is Mrs. Misa signing off. Bye, everybody. Bye, gang. If you're coming in person, I'll see you in about a half an hour, okay? Awesome. Oh, don't forget to post your, your um, paintings to the Padlet. Post it to the Padlet. Okay. Bye, guys. And that's it.